Fun Fold Friday, you guys. I have got a real treat for you today. Do not throw away those paper strips. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful snowflake ornament. And uh, I really can't wait to start. So let us switch over to our view. And don't forget, we, um, we're we still having our closeout sale and the clearance rack um, has a lot of items. So, uh, and I'm still doing the free gift with a $50 purchase, so don't forget that. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So you just need half inch, you need uh, 12 half inch paper strips, at least six inches long. If you have them a little longer, your snowflake will just be bigger, but if you have them any shorter, it's a little hard to work with the paper. So, oh, and I forgot to switch over to comments. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, here we go. All right, so all these beautiful paper strips. You're going to create two of these. Well, let me show you the ornament, first of all. So this is one I made a while back, and I used red and green paper, and then I put it like a snowflake in the center, and I put a beautiful saying on the back. So it's it's not only just an ornament, it's also a pretty gift if you wanted to give it to a friend. And, um, and it just twists and turns, and it's really pretty. So that's what we're gonna make. Um, and I'm using my leftover snowflake paper. How appropriate, we're making a snowflake with snowflake paper. Hey, good morning, Dorothy and Debbie. And Kim, how are you all this morning? All right, this is very simple. So take two of your half inch strips and you want to find the center. So just fold them in half and then there's your center. Now you're going to need glue so or glue dots, but I like liquid glue. I'm a fan of liquid glue. And it really doesn't matter if you keep them all going the same direction or um, if you like flip it, you know, uh, it's just going to make different uh, unique snowflakes. Now on uh, my snowflake, and also you want to make sure your plus sign is uh, perpendicular, uh, not perpendicular, yeah, perpendicular, parallel perpendicular, so perpendicular. Um, notice here I did, it was, uh, the red paper has the green on the back, it's from our uh, plaid tidings, and I chose to do all of these this direction and the other side also, we're going to make two of these and then nest them together. Um, and so it went back and forth, red, green, red, green. But uh, you could twist all these papers around and have it red, green everywhere. It, it just depends on how you put the paper strips together. Now that you have the strips together, you're going to take uh, two on each side and we're going to create a basket weave. So <clears throat> this center one, let me pull it up so you can see it better. This center one is on the bottom, this this one right here, is underneath this one. These two are on top, all right? And we're gonna glue those in place, all right? So just a tiny little dab of glue. And like I said, glue dots work also um, if you're not into making a mess with liquid glue. <laughs> and you want them pretty close, but not touching, okay? So, and of course, you know, I like liquid glue because you can wiggle it around just a little bit before it sets. And you can see I just have an itty bitty space in between. And then this second one, whoops, I stuck my finger right in that glue. What do I say? I always make it a mess. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so that was pretty easy. Now, the other part of the basket weave, we're going the other direction, all right? So we're gonna turn it like this, and now these two strips go right here, but you can't just place them on top. It won't make a basket weave. What you actually have to do is weave it. So we're going to, <clears throat> let me pull this up. I have a frog in my throat this morning. <clears throat> Lift this up so you can see I'm going in between and creating that basket weave right there. And I'm just gonna hold it in place while I put um, some glue back behind there. So this is really a fun um, activity, and you can do it with children too. So you could get all the family together and make a whole bunch of snowflakes. That would be fun. And like I said, and it doesn't have to be Christmas colors or snowflakes. I mean, you can make pink snowflakes and um, I don't know, any color snowflakes. There we go. All right, so that one's in, and now let's do the other one. And just like that, you want to weave it underneath the center one. And then once you have it in place, you're just going to lift up each side and put a little dab of glue. There we go. So pretty simple. And we're going to create two of these. So that's why you have 12 strips. 
So you need 12 half inch strips, at least six inches long. Um, like I said, it can be a little longer. Your snowflake would just be bigger and floppier. If you have it too, sh if you have them too short, uh, the it they're just a little harder to work with. That's all. All right. So now that we've got that in there, pretty good. We are ready to create some snowflake petals. I don't know if you actually call them petals, but in this case, they kind of look like petals because it does kind of look like a. So if you made this all red, this would look kind of like a poinsettia. <laughs> All right, now this is how you do it. It's really, really simple. You're gonna take these four corners, okay? And you're just gonna take these strips here on the outside edge there, and you're just going to twist them up and glue them. So let me hold that up so you can see it better. All right, so we just, we just took these two, we twisted them, and we're just gonna glue them together like that. So the back side of the paper is showing up here and we're going to do that on all four corners. So let me do that real quick. And hold it for just a sec to let the glue set. There we go. And now this one. Oh, come on glue. There we go. Yay. So it is the last weekend before Christmas. How many of you guys are ready? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, we've got lots of wonderful comments here this morning. Wow, look at all of you guys. Love this. Um, Colleen and Deborah and Tammy and Mima. And Deborah is at 7 a.m. in Washington, bright and early. <laughs> Colleen. Oh, yes. Yes, Colleen has a new grandson, everybody. Yes, she does. Colleen, you have to tell everybody how cute he is. <laughs> so that makes eight for you. Is that correct? Because we were saying we both had eight grandchildren. No, four. You have four grandsons. Yeah. Uh, grandchildren are so awesome. All right. Now that we have done all four corners. There we go. I'm speeding up real time by saying, now create another one just like it. <laughs> uh, I decided to, uh, okay. Now, notice I did these backwards. So this one I did with the paper showing that way, and this one I have the paper showing that way. And look how bad I'm shaking this morning. All right. The next step is to take these snowflakes, twist it, and nest them inside each other, except we need to turn it over. There we go. Yeah, so so the petals go down, okay, and you're gonna nest them inside one another, just like that, okay? And you can see that the plus signs, the crosses in the middle, touch these petals here, all right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave those underneath and we're gonna glue them. So what I mean by that is take this strip right here and we're just going to weave it underneath that petal there, like that, okay? And then we're gonna weave this one, and we're gonna weave them all before we glue. That way we can um, have them all in the correct place. And then weave that one, and now flip it over and weave again. Okay, so now we're taking this one and we're putting it under that petal, and that petal, and that petal, and that petal. All right, so now we have them, and you just kind of touch it a little bit, let everybody get settled where they're going, okay? And now we're going to glue these down. So just hold it in place, lift up, you know, the strip right there, and put a little dab of glue, and then just hold that in place for a sec. And then we'll do this side. And we're going to do all the petals like this. And like I said, I don't know if snowflakes are petals... <laughs> and a true snowflake uh, only has six sides, but that's okay. We have an eight-sided snowflake. <laughs> and last but not least, this one over here. Okay. And now flip it. Whoops, that one is not wanting to center up very well. Oh, there we go. Hold still. 
There we go. Now it's staying still. Now let's do these petals. Oh, Marty has seven grandkids with four greats. Oh, Lordy, I don't have greats yet, that's for sure. I only, uh, my oldest one is only, uh, oh gosh, that's bad. You know, they get to where you can't remember how old they are. Yeah, my oldest is nine. He will be 10 in January, so. My youngest one, though, is only two months. <laughs> Little Millie Kate. She is adorable, and she has red hair. I have three redhead grandchildren. <laughs> And two white blondes. That's that Scandinavian heritage. Uh, I think it's so fun to see how the grandkids, what um, genetic traits they take from all the different families, uh, all the different uh, grandparents. We have uh, one grandson who looks just like my husband, David, oh my gosh, the white, blonde, super curly hair. <laughs> okay, we have our snowflake made. Well, kind of. These tips need to be trimmed off. Really simple here. Just follow the edge of each tip. Trim it up. And now you're done, unless you want to... Um, put a little extra on it. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna decorate the centers of these uh, with a stamp and another snowflake. The, um, the set, the sweet um, snowflake wishes that comes with this die, um, I'm gonna use this to do a little extra to the snowflake. Now let me flip it over and do the rest. And like I said, this is so easy, especially after you've done one, it gets to go really fast. Um, and it's and it's a simple craft to do with the kids. They, It's something they really can do. If they're having trouble with the weaving and the gluing, um, just help them out. You know, some of their little hands can aren't quite as nimble um, as ours yet. There we go. Now we have our cute snowflake. And kind of puff it up there in the middle a bit. All right. Now, I've already done all the cutting and stamping. So this piece here, let me pull it up so you can see it better. Twist it so you can see the glitter. That's our um, blue glimmer paper and just some white card stock. And I just took that from the die set here. And we're just gonna put a little glue on the back. And I found that the white showed up, I, at first I made I made it with the big snowflake blue glimmer and white in the center, and it just didn't show up. It kind of got lost. So I switched it around, and there we go. I'm just kind of put that in the middle there. And now the other side, I wanted to put um, a little saying. So um, in the stamp set, it says, May your season sparkle. And I uh, punched that with this punch. Then I took the glimmer paper and I used this punch. Whoops, get in the camera. <laughs> and so then, um, and when you're working with glimmer paper, you definitely want to have glue. Um, the tape runner just doesn't quite, unless you have um, like super, super strong tape like our uh, tear and tape, um, glue just works better. All right, so now we just have a simple saying with some glimmer paper behind it, and we're just gonna stick this on the other side. And there we go. Now this snowflake paper is pretty similar on both sides, so you really can't tell where I changed it up, but that's okay, whoops. Um, as you uh, play with the different kind of paper strips that you have and create different kinds of snowflakes, um, that's the fun of creativity. All right, last last bit. Um, you want a hole punch. Don't use a traditional, well, you could use a traditional size hole punch, but I found the tinier, the little one eighth inch uh, hole punch just works a little better. Oops, goes this way, okay. Um, for holding twine to hang your snowflake. All right. Oh no, I didn't think about, yep, I should have put the hole there. Ah, is that too late? Ooh, just barely. Okay, let me twist that. <laughs> Wasn't thinking, yeah, be careful when you punch your hole, make sure you're saying if you're using a stamp uh, is the correct direction. 
Okay, and then just take some twine and make a hanger. There we go. And um, the way I make hangers is I just really simple, thread that through, bring up the two ends, and tie the two ends together. And da-da! We are done with our snowflake ornament. Is that not the cutest? Okay, I'm going to switch camera angles so you can see it hanging. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I hope you all enjoyed your snowflake lesson this morning. Fun Fold Friday. Um, it's one of my favorite series that I do with you all, and I would love to see your creations. So um, if you uh, make some snowflakes, um, please post them. Let us see all the different creations. We'd love to see them. And uh, I hope you all have a blessed, wonderful weekend. Don't forget the closeout sale, the clearance rack. It's still going on. Um, spend $50, and I'm going to send you a, a thank you gift for um, shopping with me. Get ready for Christmas. It'll be here. Christmas Eve is Thursday. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love Christmas. Love all of you. Bye-bye. <laughs>